I'm quite often asked, what is the role of genetics in aging? And there are two stories. One, we know that genes play an important role in the aging process. And the best way to exemplify this is if you compare a bowhead whale, uh, which lives about 200 years, and a mouse, uh, which lives on average about three years, uh, they have different genes and they have very dramatically different lifespan. And we see this across all species. So their genes, in many ways, determine uh, their lifespan. Now in humans, we also have some evidence for the role of genes. There are some humans who have mutations, uh, which actually shorten the, their lifespan in a dramatic way. And we've identified a number of genes that can actually increase, like that are associated with a longer lifespan in humans. However, what is perhaps most important is the relative contribution of genes versus the environment, lifestyle factors. And this is where the surprise is, has recently emerged, showing that most of your lifespan is actually determined by lifestyle. Uh, in fact, more than 90% of your lifespan is determined by lifestyle factors. And by lifestyle factors, I mean your, uh, the environment in which you live, your stress, your nutrition, your sleep, whether you're exercising or not. Now, the message from this new data is that uh, it is within our power for most of us to actually uh, optimize uh, the quality and the length of the life that we will lead. During the, the past few years, a number of genes have been identified that are known uh, to contribute to a variety of diseases, including aging or Alzheimer's disease, as risk factors. But it's important to understand what is the relative role of, of these genetic risk factors. A good example is APOE4, which uh, has been shown to be associated uh, with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, the good news is that having APOE4 does not mean that you will necessarily develop Alzheimer's. In fact, a minority of people who are, who are APOE4 will develop Alzheimer's. However, it indicates that as a group, and depending on your lifestyle factors and, and other genes that might also influence Alzheimer's, you might be a little more or a little less uh, at risk for developing the disease. Uh, the message should still be that uh, all of the interventions that are linked to your lifestyle, uh, in many cases, can override uh, the effect of these genetic risk factors.